Dear students, today we will start our discussion about software engineering methodologies and this module is first of this nature. So previously we have discussed that software is developed using number of stages, it passes through number of stages. For example, first of all there is a requirement analysis, then design is prepared, then implementation is done and then testing is done. So in software engineering, there are number of methods and models which are available that how these phases or stages should be executed. So for example, uh, one of the model which we uh, have in software engineering is waterfall model. And it says that entire preceding phase need to be completely done before the start of the next phase. So this means, first of all, the requirement analysis need to be finished and once all of the requirements have been analyzed and software requirement specification document has been prepared then the software team will move towards the next phase which is design and during the design or during the implementation or during the testing phase if they identify any problems any new issues are identified or any new demand or needs are identified then there is no way back to reaching the requirement analysis phase. So this means all of the phases need to be done very uh, strictly and when that phase is finished then the next phase is started. So there is no way back towards the previous phases. So this uh, model has number of advantages and number of disadvantages. So one of the disadvantage which we have discussed that if there is a requirement arising at later stages, we cannot go to the previous stage. So such a disadvantage or limitation have given a chance to software engineers to develop some other models. So one of such model is known as incremental model. So here the desired software system is constructed in increments. The first being the simplest simplified version of the final product. So for example, you are going to design a system for student and the modules or the functionalities or the requirements which you want to perform in this software is student addition, student viewing and course addition to which the student is enrolled. So in the first iteration in the incremental model you can for example perform all of the stages requirement analysis, design, implementation and testing for few of the requirements. So in this example we can only perform the uh, requirement of student addition in the first iteration. So this means in the first attempt we will only think that our software has only one requirement that is the student should be entered and added into the system. So once that has been done and verified by the customers, clients, then we are going to add the next requirement for example viewing, the next requirement for example course addition. So similarly as we have the incremental model there is another model which is known as iterative model. So sometime incremental and iterative models are confused. So in incremental model we have discussed that we extend each preliminary version of a product into a larger version iteratively. So first we perform some of the requirements then the remaining requirements then the remaining requirements and iteratively we build it. However, in the iterative model, we first build all of the, uh, uh, the first version which has most of the requirements and we keep refining each version creating a working prototype first. So we will be discussing how to build a prototype in the next slides. And then there is a model known as rational unified process which is read as RUP which is an example of iterative technique created by Rational Software Corporation which is now owned by IBM. 
and it redefines the steps in the development phase of the software life cycle. And RUP is widely applied nowadays in software industry. And the non-proprietary version of RUP is known as unified processes. So if we summarize today's module, we have learned about what are simple software engineering methodologies available nowadays. We have discussed about waterfall model, incremental model, and iterative model. Just briefly, you will be learning for these models in the concerned courses of software engineering in the later stages and in the later semesters. We have also discussed rational unified process and unified processes.